lovely decision to go to the gym when I got off work today. Worst idea ever. There were so many freaking people in the gym. I literally did 20 minutes on the treadmill and took off. But I did go to the gym this morning. And I did like an hour in the gym this morning and I was able to hit all the machines that I wanted to. So now I know I should just go in the morning. And if I do go at night, then I'm just probably only going to be doing cardio. Okay, my babies. So last night's gym experience was freaking horrible. I went to the gym and um, I went when I got off work. And when I tell you everybody and their mama was in the gym last night, like everybody and their mama was in the gym last night. And I do not like, I already don't like going to the gym by myself. So if there's too many people in there, it just isn't gonna work for me. <clears throat> so I did about 20 minutes on the treadmill and then I got out of there, okay? I dipped on them, okay? Today, I'm actually going later than I wanted to. I usually go right, literally right after I take the kids to school. But today, I ain't do that. And I'm kind of mad at myself because I ain't do that. So, it is Thursday. And typically, Thursdays are my Fridays. But this week is a special occasion because yesterday was my Friday. And let me tell you why. I'm going to a Red Hot Chili Peppers concert and I'm so excited. I get to see the Red Hot Chili Peppers. They are like one of my favorite bands. I love the Red Hot Chili Peppers and I'm so freaking excited to go see them play tonight. Um, So right now I am at Ross because I need to find me some shoes. I got this, y'all seen the jacket before, the pink leather jacket I wore uh, for Girls Night Out. I want to wear that jacket, and um, I plan on wearing a black dress, but I seen these shoes that were, like, perfect, so I want to see if my Ross has them, because the Ross I found them at only had them in a size 7, and your girl got a big foot. I'm at least an 8 and a half, 9, so that wasn't going to work for me. So I'm about to see if this Ross has them. And if not, then baby might have to change her outfit. Because I really want that shoe. That's the first time I ever seen a Steve Madden shoe that I actually liked. Ugh, that I actually liked and wanted. So it is 9.56, right? I have to be ready by 4.30. So my hair is already done. I had kind of redid my this like a couple days ago so I'll probably just like throw some mousse on it or whatever and you know because I don't know my hair is done um my makeup that ain't gonna take me but a cool hot quick sit and um I'm contemplating whether or not I want to wear falsies or if I want to put some lashes on um ugh, and I'm cramping like crazy this is this is annoying that's what's annoying today is that I'm cramping today but um yeah, I'm about to go on to Ross and see what shoes I can find. If I end up having to change my shoe, I end up having to change my shoe. But you about to see. But I'm so excited for tonight. I'm so excited for babies. Okay, so right now, as you can see, my makeup is all done and stuff. I am dressed. And I am just making a quick run to the bank. Y'all, there's so much traffic out here right now. I'm making a quick run to the bank before my boyfriend picks me up to deposit some money. And then we are off. He's supposed to be picking me up at 4.30 and it is 4.16 right now. My bank is like literally down the street from me. So, I'm so excited, y'all! I'm so excited for this concert. I'm actually, right now, I'm more excited to eat because my stomach, baby, y'all already know where we're sat, child, is in the behind, okay? My stomach is in my butt and I am hungry, okay? It just sucks though because I had Googled the place I originally was told we were gonna go eat 
and I already had picked out what I wanted, y'all. It sounded so good, and it had asparagus. So I was like, you know what? It's a little bit fancier. So they gotta make the asparagus right, correct? But then I got told we ain't going there no more. And now I don't know where we're going. So I kind of just gotta wing it. And I'm hoping I find me something. I'm pretty sure I will, like some salmon or something. So I don't know. But I am so freaking grateful that I was invited because I freaking love Red Chili Peppers. And yeah, I'm just, I'm freaking super excited. This is my second um, concert of a band that I'm attending. The first concert I attended um, was, I think it was last year. And I went to a Kiss concert with my boyfriend and his niece and her boyfriend and I believe his mom. I believe it was his mom. And that concert was freaking awesome. One part freaked me out. Dude had the blood coming out of his mouth. That was freaking weird. But other than that, the concert was freaking amazing. So I'm excited um, that I have the opportunity to go tonight. It is definitely exciting. I'm gonna try to get as much footage as I can. Um, this is my, I've never really filmed, you know, around my boyfriend's family. And you know, everybody don't like to be on camera. So I'm gonna just, you guys are probably going to see a lot of Snapchat footage from for tonight. Um, so just be prepared, y'all. That's what y'all see. I, I literally had no choice. So, <laughs> but I'm going to get as much as I can get for y'all. Comment down below, y'all. Do y'all like the Red Hot Chili Peppers? Like, I know there's that one song that just sends you that's by a rock band or... That one's country song. I just seen a, a post by the Shade Room yesterday of them asking, like, what's that one country song that'll just get you going? I don't I don't even know if it's a country song. I think it's like a gospel country song, but Carrie Underwood's um must have been something in the water. I freaking love that song. That song is good. And then when it comes to like rock bands and stuff, Red Hot Chili Peppers have some bangers. Paramore. Lincoln Park, um, I know I'm forgetting, Blink-182, I know I'm forgetting a whole bunch of people, but like, y'all, I be tapping, I be tapping into my rock bands, okay? So, I'm like, I'm super excited. They're, um, doing this concert to, like, promote their new album that they came out with this year, which I'm kind of sad and disappointed in myself because I honestly have only heard one song from the album. So... Yeah, but from what I was told, they're gonna be playing some of their old stuff too. But like I said, they are promoting their new album, so I'll get a chance to listen to um, some of the songs. So I'm excited. I'm excited. But at this point in time, at this very moment, I'm more excited about eating. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Once I eat, then I'll be, you know, even more hyped about the concert. But okay, I just made this a bank. I'm going to deposit this money, and I'm going to take my booty home. No oh, babe has picked me up. I'm way more excited now that I'm in the car with him. We, I'm not going to record where we are because... Hold on, y'all. Okay, sorry. We had to get clearance. <laughs> I've never been to his brother's house, so I'm not going to record in there, y'all. So don't. Matter of fact, I'll check in with y'all later because I don't even want y'all to really see what's going on but we're going to go see red hot jelly peppers and eat some food i'm really i'm telling you i'm really more excited to go eat right now because my stomach is in my butt oh oh coco hi coco bean i know you want to get out i can't take you out
just came from a concert and it was awesome. I do wish they would have done a couple of my faves like Look Around or Dark Necessities, but they did do some good jams. They played a lot more of their like newer stuff because their new album just came out, which I actually need to download. Um, but we are now grabbing some makers because I offered. <laughs> They've offered and I am hungry. So not even necessarily hungry, just like the speakers. A little snacky snack. <laughs> so just got some Thank french you. fries and just something light, a little shake. I got a little a little shake. <laughs> It's like, I tell you what, I'm feeling 30 because I'm sleeping. I mean, we wish they perform more songs, but I do feel tired. I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> I'm plus, tired. too, they did say there was going to be an after party. So yeah, they're having an after party, which we could have gone to. But we're feeling our age. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're a part of the 30 and up club, and we definitely need to go to bed. Because, first of all, we both work tomorrow. Yeah. And I now have to go in earlier than what I thought, too. So I need to go try to get me some sleep because I have to go to the gym tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, wait, I probably won't make it to the gym then. Uh, I probably, yeah, I'm not going to make it to the gym. I would suggest you get some rest. <laughs> yeah. I have to go in at 1130, so I probably won't make it to the gym. <laughs> I asked you if you wanted the large. I wasn't paying attention. Which their large is like to it's me, the medium. Small. Yeah. That's the only thing they didn't make. Look, okay. Oh, look. we could have went to NW. Thank you. Oh well. Because like, here's the large in their soda, and then mind you, the small in their soda is even bigger than this. Yeah. So that's the one thing they need to change. <laughs> they changed everything else. The look of the menu, the way that they do the the. The meals, but the shake sizes are still really small. Like, you know, I'm not a little kid. I can drink the full shake. Right. <laughs> I want my fries. Do you guys dip your french fries in your milkshakes? I don't. Drop a comment down below in the comment section and let me know. I can't be the only person in America that does that. Actually, I know I'm not because my older brother used to do it. And he's the one who got me into doing it. I don't know if he still does, but occasionally, not all the time, but occasionally when I'm feeling froggy, I like to dip my fries in my shake. But yeah, the content was great. Okay, my baby, so I just got off work. I luckily was able to go in earlier. I went in at 11.30, which means I got to get off early. So, I am heading home to go take some drugs. Your girl feels like complete poop. I feel like complete poop. So, I'm going to go home and, I don't know, find whatever I can find. I have some Mucinex. Mucinex? Did I say it? Mucinex? Um, day and night and then I think my boyfriend's gonna get me some cough drops and then um, he's gonna bring me some soup I kind of want to stop at Starbucks and get me a um, medicine ball but I have tea at home already um, so I don't need to do that I think I just need to stop and get me some limes because my manager put me on to putting like squeezing lime juice into my tea and it tastes so much better like that. Like, I don't know why I didn't know about that before. Um, so I'm gonna stop and get me some, some limes and have me a hot tea and snuggle up in my bed. Well, after I shower and whatnot. But yeah, I just feel bad because I want to snuggle up with my baby, but I don't want to get him sick, um, especially because um, tomorrow, I believe he's going to go with my older brother 
to some kind of Easter egg hunt thing. And then I think, well, I know on Saturday, he'll be with my boyfriend. Or wait, what's today? Today's Friday. I'm all mixed up, y'all, because I don't normally work on Fridays. So now I keep getting my days confused because I had to switch my days so I go to that concert yesterday. But tomorrow, he's going with my brother. And then Sunday, he's supposed to go with my boyfriend. Because uh, I have to work Sunday, so... But I think I get to go in earlier so I can get off early. So that'd be cool. But yeah, I just, I'm ready to be home and be in my bed already. Because I am pooped. And my throat hurts. And then I want to sometime between tonight and tomorrow take these out. I am over them. This is the longest I've ever had a hairstyle. Three weeks is a long time for me. So it's time to take these out and wash my hair. And I honestly want to bleach my hair. So if I could conjure up the strength to do that tomorrow, I probably will. I was going to go see my best friend tomorrow. Um, but I don't want to get anybody sick. So if I'm feeling better tomorrow, then I definitely will probably go see her if she doesn't have to work. But um, if not, your girl is going to be glued to her bed tomorrow. Like, for real. Like, <laughs> my bed is going to have a chokehold on me tomorrow. If I still feel how I feel. Like, I feel like I sound like a little boy. And that's not cute. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm just, I'm glad to be off. My body is so achy. So, I will check in with y'all probably later on. Okay, my baby, so, your girl's out for the count. I'm out for the count. I'm taking my L and I'm bowing out gracefully. So, I'm going to go ahead and end out this video here. It's the next day. What is today? Saturday? It's Saturday, and me and my bud are best friends. <laughs> but my little, my little rider, he's taking care of me today. Um, he wanted to come out here and end out the video with me. So, we got to tell the people. So guys, I, I want I want you guys to like and subscribe, comment, and click the notification bell to never miss another video. And stay safe out there. Alright guys, we'll see you in the next video. Bye!